This demonstration of the Grex Trillium TS is to show the ease with which one can remove or replace the needle caps. Simple. You can remove it, turn the airbrush around, it slips right back on. Then if you need to move it again, you just take it off, spin the brush around, pull the trigger to bring the needle in to avoid damaging it, insert it, there you have it. At the same time, if you need multiple caps, you can take the other cap, in this case the crown feature, and it just slips on, locks on, magnetically charged, and there you have it. Facilitate the angle at which you intend to be painting with the airbrush. You can go shooting up, shooting down, great deal of flexibility with this system. You can have it straight up or you can leave it slightly loose so that you can move it as you see fit. This demonstration is with polyscale acrylic paint, partially mixed, 12 psi. Note the incredibly fine line that you can get with even the typical standard head. A wonderful design. Be right up next to the surface. Superb control. This is again, I'm using polyscale acrylic paint. It's unthinned. I'm using about 10 psi. Notice the fidelity of the lines that I'm able to achieve with this crown needle cap. The crown needle cap. The Grex Tritium is an internal mix double action airbrush. Unlike other double action internal mix airbrushes which have a trigger for the air and an activator for the paint, the Grex has a dual action trigger. You pull it in slightly, air comes out. Pull it in another notch, the paint comes out. Air. Paint. Air. Paint. Air. Paint. Provides you with the opportunity to manipulate your airbrush and the flow of paint as needed with just one finger instead of doing gymnastics with a finger and a thumb trying to coordinate and harmonize your movements. It's done with a cylinder inside and a baffle. It activates a piston. Again, air, paint, air, paint. The Grex Tritium, the double action paint and air trigger.